are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we have talked about the layoffs that are actually going on over there at ESPN. More layoffs are coming, but today we need to talk about a firing that actually happened at ESPN. And it actually happened to a woman. Now, apparently we got some uh, woman on woman crime here at the uh, Worldwide Leader in Woke. Now, this actually happened at a New York Yankees game. And this ESPN reporter uh, used a term that um, that was actually caught on video. It was caught on video and she was done. Now, she tried to come out and apologize, but it did not work. And we're talking about uh, Meryl Rivera here. Look here on Breitbart. ESPN reporter fired after calling reporter a effing. I can't even say that last word here on YouTube. Uh, Mick, when we had the member stream, we actually cut a video and he actually said the word and uh, it got demonetized. We're not going to get demonetized right now. But let's read some of this guy. Someone at ESPN has reportedly not been working and playing well with others. Now that person is no longer at ESPN. According to a report from the New York Post, Meryl Rivera, one of ESPN's MLB reporters, she had actually been there, I believe, like 13 years, was fired last week after calling another female reporter who was waiting for an Aaron Judge interview a effing C word. And right here, you can actually see uh, Andrew Marshawn from the New York Post talking about um, her getting fired here. But um, let's continue on here. The incident reportedly occurred last Tuesday at Yankee Stadium. The conflict started when Ivan Gate, a freelance reporter for Tokyo Broadcasting and wife of MLB Vice President of Communications John Blundell, arrived to interview Yankee captain Aaron Judge. Rivera was already on site to interview Judge and said, uh, she had told uh, Gate that she had already scheduled the time to interview him. Rivera's explanation apparently fell on deaf ears as Gate ignored it. In the ensuing argument, Rivera called Gate a effing C word, an obscenity that was captured on video. Now that being captured on video, you're probably going to be done. And it happened. Upon realizing her words were caught on video, Rivera attempted to apologize, but uh, Gate was having none of it. In a statement to the Post, Rivera accepted responsibility for her words. Quote, I fully accept responsibility for what I said, which I should not have. Rivera told the Post. There were insinuating circumstances that in no way is an excuse for my actions. I am a professional with a sterling reputation across baseball, and I do not believe that I am being singled out by a group of individuals with whom I have a long history of professional disagreements. Rivera had been at ESPN for 13 years, covering MLB with an emphasis on the Yankees, and worked with both the English language uh, platforms as a writer and on-air personality for ESPN Deportes, the New York Post reports, man. So that happened, guys. That happened. It was caught on video. She tried to actually talk her way out of this, but uh, Rivera, it did not work. She was actually shown the door. She is no longer at ESPN. She lost her cool in the heat of the moment, caught on um, video, and that was it right there. That was it. She was done. No second chances. And this woman who she actually said this to was the wife of um an MLB executive. I believe if, if I'm not mistaken, I actually did read that correctly. Yep. She is the wife of um the vice president of communications. For um. For uh, MLB. Yeah, probably not going to go over very, very well. So now she has been shown the door and she couldn't talk her way out of this, guys. This is interesting right here. That was interesting. I wish we actually had the videotape. I would actually like to uh, hear the videotape tape 
and um, just listen to see how angry she really was. And then she automatically say, whoa, wait a, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm on camera. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I wish I could actually see the tape, but apparently um, we're not going to see that tape, guys. But what do you guys think of this? What do you guys make of uh, Meryl Rivera being fired by ESPN after 13 years? One slip up. I'm assuming this is only slip up and she's done. She's gone. That is the end of her career at ESPN. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.